All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, well, not really back, but eh, here I am again. Uh, I'm going to try and cover how to uh, edit the FGDs, the definition files that Hammer uses to determine what key values and input and output various entities can handle. So, right now I have these uh, two or well, three objects here. The first, the player spawn, your standard 512 by 512 by 512 cube, and a little cube over here, and a turret over here. Now, I want to add some key values here. Uh, if you watch the uh, heavy lifting uh, time lapse video, you saw, well, I don't know if you really saw me, but for probably about half a second, you probably caught a window pop up where I added the parenting key value to the proper way to cube. What I'm going to do is add uh, IO to it so you can change its color. And if I open up the properties here, let's see here. Uh, yep. No color input. So I'm going to add a color input there and go over here to this turret and see what I can add to it. So first thing, let's compile this and pop in the portal too. Getting there, getting there, not responding. Awesome. There we go. Now, first thing I want to do in here, okay, throw us facing the opposite direction for all these circuits, but uh, first thing I want to do, is clear the console. Just clear, hit enter, it'll blank it out. Now, I want to make sure the cubes can support color, the color input. So, I'm going to do int info prop weighted cube. It'll spew a bunch of stuff there. Yes, I see what I'm looking for, however. I'll go to the top here, I'll show you all the I.O. the engine says it'll support, not the FGD. That's very important, because as I showed you earlier in the help window for the cube, it didn't show color being a supported input, but here it is, right there. So now I want to test it. I didn't name the cube, so I'm going to have to uh, fire the input by typing in the actual entity's name, class name. Oops. In class cube. There we go. Property cube. I want to do the color input, and because it's going to be RGB value, I'm going to put in quotes. Let's choose the default alpha value for bitmaps or PNGs for sprites. 255, 0, and 255. A annoying pink. Enter that in, and lo and behold, we have a pink cube. Now, let's see what the turrets will support. So int info npc portal turret floor, I believe. Yep. I'll go up here, and actually, it supports color as well. So let's give that a try. I'll just go to my history and replace the entity name here with npc uh, portal turret floor. And we have a pink turret. And it's pink all over. Awesome. What else can I add to this? Let's go to something key Can this be parented? That's what I want to know. Can this be parented? Let's see here. Oh! There we go. Set parent, clear parent. Let's test this. Head file the full okay, turret floor. Uh, I'm gonna set the parent to myself. Yep, that works. Alright, so time to pull up those FGDs and uh, make the changes for hammer. Now for me, uh portal 2 is installed in the Steam Apps Common Portal 2 folder. I think some people may have it installed in the retail folder, in which case it would not retail, but they uh, download a different uh, file path for downloads. For that would actually be your Steam apps, your Steam name, your account name, and then Portal 2 and 
it'd go through there. So what I want to do is go over to Steam Apps, go to Common, scroll down here, Portal 2. Now, the tools are going to be in the, the binary folder, bin. And that's also where we're going to have the FGDs that I want to edit. Right here, base FGD, Portal, and Portal 2. Could be half like two entity uh, FGD because there may be some entities in there that are used, but I know for a fact the two I'm looking for aren't in there right now. How do I know? Well, I did a little tweaking earlier. The Portal 2 peer review DLC pretty much screwed all my changes, so I'm remaking them again, but this time I'm showing you guys how. Now, I want to edit the weighted cube first and add that color input. However, I don't really know what the color input looks like. If you look down here, I have input remove paint void. So that's probably going to be the basic uh, syntax for adding an input. But I want to find an entity that supports the color input. So let's see here. We have input space, input name. So I'm going to input space color. And apparently we've jumped down here to uh, what is this? A base, base class. Okay, we're in base FTD, so we're just gonna get base class. What I want here is input color, right there, 255. Copy that. Now I need to figure out where the weighted cube is. It's either gonna be in Portal 2 or Portal. Now the weighted cube that was in Portal. So I don't think they're going to copy and paste that back in the Portal 2 when they could just only add the new entities to Portal 2 and leave everything else in Portal. So I'm going to search in the Portal FGD and see if I can find a proper way to cube. New. Well, okay, let's see Portal 2. Activated by a proper way to cube. Oh, there it is, Portal 2, proper way to cube. Apparently they did move it. Oh well. All right, so I want to scroll down through here. I, oh, here we go. Input output. Go down here and paste that line we, the input line we copied. Now I want to change this description, just make it more appropriate. So instead of set the sprite color, set the cubes color. Simple. All right. Now, I want to do the same thing to the turrets and see if it's in here as well. Let's see here, NPC portal, oh, portal turret, not down, how about up? Not in here either. Okay, let's go to portal and see if I can find it there. Not down there. Portal turret ground, portal turret floor, awesome, here we are. So, same thing, go back down here, and let's add this to the I.O. Set the turret's color, not the sprites, again. Now, I also want to add uh, parenting to the turret. That's going to be something different. That is an I.O., but if you saw in the base class when I searched for it, we came up with this base class, base render effects choices render fields, and if that's just a chunk that you'll see if you pull up uh, EMB sprites or other things that will use, or uh, brushes, that funk brush that'll use this specific section to do render mode changes. So, parenting is handled in the same way. It is a key value that is stored in base. So if I do a search here, parent name, that's what I want. I want to show you the actual base. Point class, base, parent name. No nope, particle light. Gosh darn. Okay, it's in here somewhere. Let's backtrack. But that's what I want to add. There we go, parent name. Now in here, base FGD, we have the base class parent name, and with parent name, if you add this to the definition of an entity, you'll get these key values, or this key value, and the corresponding input. Clear parent, set parent, attachment, maintain offset, and whatnot. So now I'm going to go back to the turret. Now, base NPC turret 4, I'm going to add a comma and put parent name. 
actually, I want parent name to be on top. So I'm going to put this over here, base, parent name, NPC turret floor. Let's save that. Now, that's all saved, well and good, but Amber's not going to detect that off the bat, so I'm going to have to restart it. Let's go over here and bring it back. Give it a moment. What are, there we go. Let's open this back up again and take a peek. If I had to go to the help here and scroll down, the very bottom right there, color 225, set the cube's color, just like I said in the F3D. Oh, excellent. Go to the prop, uh, portal tur floor. There it is, the parent key value, and if I go to help, scroll down here at the bottom of the inputs, there, set the turret's color. So, now we can do this to our heart's content. Let's actually name this. Oh, actually, we've already shown this, so I'm going to call this turret, oh, Tom. Yeah. And Tim. And that was my phone, saying it has a little battery, when it actually has 50%. Yes. Old phone. Very crotchety. All right, let's add a logic relay. Or actually, a button. Yeah, you know, I'll just do an auto. Logic auto. What I'm going to do now is show that the I.O. and stuff that I just added, the key values, work. So, let's, let's on map spawn, let's change the cube's color to... Oh, that... Not that pink again, so... Something with no red. A turret, something that's all red. Additionally, I want to parent the turret to the cube. Set parent here. Save that and compile. Oh, right. Come on. And there we are. We have a blue cube, or more of a really light blue turquoise, maybe, cube, and a dark red turret. If I go over here and pick up the cube, we now have the turret moving with it. can't pick up the, the turret, but I can pick up the cube. So, something to keep in mind if you want to do this. Parent something, you probably won't be able to pick it up. Hello! Ah. Alright. And there you have it. Uh, you can pretty much do this with anything you find in the IO lists here. If it's not in the FGD, you can find it and add it. And if it's not in the base class, you can add it yourself. Although, I don't know how well that'll work if you're adding something manually. You may miss something. So, trial and error, back up your FGDs if you do want to mess with this. And that'll do it. See you next time.